Billionaire businessman author Eze insists Northern presidential candidate is the best for Ndibo. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. For almost all magnate, Prince author Eze has insisted that a Northern presidential candidate is the best for Ndibo. Eze said support for a Northern candidate by Indigo will help them from the needed alliance that will help the people of the region attain power in the nearest future. The famous philanthropist had two weeks ago jolted many when he announced that he will not support the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, adding that Obi was not capable of winning the election and that he, Eze, had told him so during a private visit. Eze, who paid a courtesy call to the Director General of Atiku Okowa Presidential Campaign Council in Anambra, Professor Obiora Okonkwo, at the weekend in his country home in Ogidi, called for support for the presidential candidate of the PDP, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. He stated that his Atiku's administration would liberate Nigeria and benefit the Southeast more than any other region in the country. I urge the people of the Southeast to continue the strategic relationship by supporting Atiku Abubakar in the February elections. The long standing alliance between the North and the Southeast has always produced many political benefits to the region. I have known Atiku Abubakar to be an honest man, liberal, and a pan Nigerian who aspires best for the nation and is committed to the re renaissance of Indibo. He has demonstrated his huge love and concern for us Indigo by continuously choosing an Igbo man to be his running mate since 2007, when he picked Senator Ben Indi Obi again in 2019 when he picked Peter Obi, and now he finds Yokoa an Igbo man from Delta State. He was willing to scale back his ambition if the ticket was micro-zoned to the southeast. Only Atiku Abubakar agreed to such terms. So now let's take some of the comments. Somebody said, you see why these evil people are the problem of themselves. Haven't seen where people choose to play third citizens in a country because of their greed and selfishness. Another person said, just look at this rickety, mm, bad word, Turkin. After enjoying your ill-gotten money from Atiku, you want the rest to continue in subjugation. Another person said, a query my talking. We can't continue listening to the old music anymore. Obi is our candidate. Win or lose, we don't care. Another said, Also, is it? It's too late. Get ready to hand over Nigeria's property with you back to the owners. The youths are coming. Another person said, Once a slave, always a slave. Another said, Obi is qualified, but only Southern can't win presidential election. He needs alliance with strong Northern support. Another person said, corrupt man and, and not useful author Eze. Even as we, the Yorubas, are supporting Peter Obi, how come author Eze is saying this? Selfish and corrupt people. Another said, he is protecting his ill-gotten wealth. He is on his own because no sane evil person will listen to this old man. Another person said, author, you said the same thing in a boring state, asking Igbo to support Buari. That is the only person that can hand over to Igbo, man. So why are you shifting the goalpost? Um, another person said, Authorize is so poor that only what he knows is money. He can sell his kids for money. Another said, um, You have only one vote. You sell out. Another person said, Efulefu, slave mentality. Another said, Talking with useless old slavish without self-confidence. I do not blame him as he's always contented with crumbs. Another said, but there was a resolution to shift power to the south, which Atiku broke. Another said, useless old Igbo, now that you people are supposed to cooperate and support Obi to become president, you're waiting for the north to rule and hand over power to an Igbo man in the nearest future. Another person said, this man Eze is truly a Fulani B word. Another person said, you must have forgotten the history of Nigeria for you to conceive such an idea that nothing will help Igbo to rule Nigeria in the near future. But by forming an alliance with them, it's unfortunate. 
Do you think northern people are so gullible and can't read in between lines? You're better wise up because the future polit politics won't hold such tribal non nepotistic belief. Another said, who is author easy? Another said, these are part of the sellout among the Igbos. What nonsense, Igbos are not. What nonsense, Igbos are not a second fiddle. Everyone is equal. Ruling is not the North, but right. And they said, apart from enriching individuals, as has been the case since independence, what other benefit has the people of Southeast benefited from the strategic alliance with the North? These are the parents who sold their best rights for porridge. And they said, um, elder statesman, without you, Obi will win in Jesus' name. Another said, money miss road. Another said, you're still a sellout even at your age. Another said, senility and its attendant challenges such as dementia, incoherence and lack of coordination have taken over him. People like him should be in an old people's home. Let nobody take him seriously. Another said, you've been a bootlicker all this while and that was how you got rich. Nothing qualifies you to be president, so you're jealous of Ubi and others. Um, another person said, I think this man is completely lost because he seems not to have to have the feel of what's happening to his kinsmen and Christians generally. Oh my God, I think I'll stop here because some of the words used in most of this post who is what is called dragon Baba author easy. Mm, let's put it like that. The dragon is too much. And funny enough, looking at the names of the commenters without sounding tribalistic, they are mostly Igbos. So what does this tell us? I think everybody is entitled to their opinion. But the truth of the matter is that, you know, you just have to be careful. Because the youth of these days are not smiling at all. They are hungry. They are hungry. They are depressed. They are frustrated. And so, when they see any line of somebody who is not working in their favor, feeling the pains they are feeling, they are going to... Going to so drag the person and the truth of the matter is the electorate that we used to know in 2015 and 2019 are not the same electorate we are having now the moment our politicians and our leaders and elder statesmen understand this very very important part the better gone are those days when they will sell stories and it will all be taken hook line and sinker if people can be saying that they are going to make their choice regardless of whether the person wins or not, but they are going to let their voice count. That shows that the shoe size used four, eight years ago is definitely not fitting into those feet anymore. I hope that really sinks in. So if you are sure as a presidential candidate of yourself and your antecedent, there should be what we call no shaking. But if you are not sure, then this is not going to be the easiest presidential election to have happened in Nigeria. The youth are angry. The elders are looking away. Only a few are really coming down to the level to say, okay, this is what we've done wrong. This is how we can right the wrongs and everything. This is 2023 and the game is not the same anymore. May God help us and build a better Nigeria where our grown-up men and women who have been bank managers and, you know, have been in a position of managerial position, not go over there and start doing jobs that they cry every day. How do we take care of our own people, of our own country? And I don't think Nigerians are asking for too much, just the basic things. Just to make basic things to make life meaningful. Security, food abundance, um good life the ability to be able to use your salary to buy what can comfortably feed you and your family but that's not the situation anymore may god help us as we make a decision next month that's february 2023 thank you very much for watching like i always say nigeria will work again god bless nigeria see you in the next video and bye for now